Hello, hello, and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, and I'm so grateful to have you here on board. Bonnie is in the background, my pit bull lady here. Um, and uh, yeah, together we want to share some time with you, create a space where you can just focus on yourself and recharge your batteries and just, yeah, focus on what is most important to you. Chances are, um, if you clicked on my podcast, that you feel the time is right to let go of old habits, of old things that don't serve you anymore. That's why to, uh, today I want to talk about um, self-improvement, growth, and where it can lead you. And um, yeah, so let's get started. We can all be very hard on ourselves um, when, it, when you start realizing, when you start becoming aware of things that you want to change. Most of the time we slide into self-punishment, um, trying to escape from those feelings, from those realizations. And what I've learned is because I've been running away, running away for many, many years um, from my problems. And then as soon as I realized what was going wrong, I, I felt so bad about myself. Um, so the most important thing is to see and be aware of what is going wrong, what is not serving you and others, and then forgive yourself. Like forgiveness, self-forgiveness is really key in all this because back then when you made that mistake when you um, messed up when you hurt somebody or when you were hurt and didn't understand why you only acted from the from the person you were back then and since then you have changed you have learned you have made conclusions and you will not make that mistake again when it comes to addiction it is a little bit different because we need addictions to keep us sane so to say it's a trap but it, they keep us sane they keep us safe um, they give us structure so it is a little harder to let go when you started becoming addicted to a substance or to a hobby or to whatever it is. Um, so we'll talk about both cases. But what I want to talk with you about today is that um, self-punishment, um, regret and worries that you're never going to get better are not going to help you in this case. It is really the hardest when you look back and know that for the longest time you blamed others, for the longest time you were in a victim mentality and now you wake up and realize, oh my God, like... <laughs> I've been in charge of my happiness, of my luck, of my everything all along and I was trying to put it all on others. It is the hardest. Like This is where you will need support from others, where you should not isolate, where you should not yeah, try to um, solve this on your own. Um, but it is the most critical time at the same time, like the hardest and most critical time, because that's when you know that you can step into your power again and you can take charge of your happiness and you can guide uh, yourself into happier, smoother waters. You can really direct where your path is going to go into the future. So it is very um, scary, but at the same time empowering times um, where you should be extremely gentle 
with yourself. And with this podcast, I would love to help you out like when you've been feeling depressed for longer and um, don't get me wrong, I'm not a doctor, I'm not um, a healer here. If you're severely um, suffering from depression, you need to get help from a professional. But if you've been feeling sad or lonely for longer time now, I want to bring you, guide you to self-worth again. If you've been suffering from crippling self-doubt that really doesn't let you be the person you are and shine the energy you have inside of you, then I want you, want to guide you towards confidence. And if you look back now and realize that you've been really selfish in the past and you want to become a better person, live with an open heart and live with compassion, then I would love to be your guide there too. I know depression, self-doubt and self-destruction all too well and want to make you feel less alone and understood and worthy. That's my main goal here because you're so worth it. You most of the time probably don't see it because you live in the past or you um, take criticism from others way too serious especially your self-criticism but I know you're out there you're listening to this podcast you want to get better you want to be a strong person um, so that just tells me that you're absolutely worth it so first thing we discussed today is that self-destructive um, regretful thoughts will not bring you anywhere but it is the state that we find ourselves most of the time when we realize that we are in charge of our happiness and our health and um, then another thing I was wondering is how do you know that the time is right for self-improvement what did you realize it'd be so so interesting for me um, to hear this about my listeners so that I can dive in deeper and help better um, I know from experience um, what can make you realize that self-improvement is uh, for you now and um, I hope that will help you too so there's things that can throw us off easily when we are feeling imbalanced, when we really need to grow but don't see it quite yet. So it is living in regret or living in fear of failure or being resentful towards people that have hurt us in the past or situations that we can't make sense of that happened to us. Um failing relationships yeah when you've been single for a while now and you keep entering relationships that don't satisfy you and you have to exit them right away again because they're not leading anywhere um, so those are big clues that you are ready for a change you're ready to let go of things um, but you have to be aware of it um, so maybe a couple of these points um, are part of your life and this also should show you that we all can grow all the time we all can evolve and be better um, it is just the most important thing on how you approach it So we're coming to an end now of um, the first official episode of the Borealis Experience. I hope you got a clue now of what this is all going to be about. And um, over the next couple of months and years, I would love to be your guide and provide you with tools um, to be the person you want to be, to be... Um, 
going out and shining your light and just enrich your environment um, that would be my biggest dream thank you so much for listening for supporting my podcast um, of course I would love to hear from you I would love um, what you want to improve on um, share my podcast if you know somebody who would benefit from it and like it I'll post my next episode very very soon I'll do it um, every week and I'm very excited to connect with you until then lots of love Aurora Hello and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host Aurora and this is the second meditation I will be posting for you. How did the first meditation go? Was it hard? Was it frustrating? Was it actually really easy and way better than you expected? Did you get into that deep, calming, soothing energy of yours? In this episode today, I will be a little more minimalistic. What I mean by that is I will be quiet. I will make space. You can imagine it as a gap between thoughts, a gap between reaction, reactions or situations that we face in daily life. Because tomorrow or the day after or even today I want you to think about that meditation that you sat through and just feel that energy one more time that calm soothing energy and then maybe next time something triggers you or really gets you upset before you react you think about what you felt in your little meditation here and this works wonders it was a game changer for me and this is why i want to share this with you maybe give you a little shortcut it took me quite some time to apply it um, for you to have a happier more content life okay as last time you might be hearing the fire in the background by the way i have a fire in my back that is warming me <laughs> I'm in the Rocky Mountains here in Canada and it's deep winter it's very cold outside and I'm in the warmth inside so I will be sitting you decide for yourself what is best for you today you can lay down open up your palms to the ceiling your arms a little bit further apart like not right alongside your body but a little further apart or you can sit and when you decide to sit I want you to go into easy seat so where your feet are kind of crossed in front of you without your knees hurting of course you can also sit on a pillow that would elevate you a little bit and um, help you to avoid knee pain and then again feel into your sit bones your pelvis imagine your pelvis being a muesli ball and then you slightly tip it down to the ground so you make an arch with your lower back and your belly kind of rounds out convexes <laughs> to the front of the room and when you're sitting I want you to decide if you want to have your palms facing up to the ceiling for more of a receiving intention or you let your hands rest on your thighs for a more grounding sensation. Okay, so after you have the right position of your pelvis Maybe you can shrug your shoulders up to the ears and then back. And then let them relax 